So outside of DreamIt, I teach part-time over at Penn, and a question I often get from my students is, when's the right time to start a company and start a startup? Do I do it straight out of school? Should I go to industry first and maybe do it later? And what I tell them all is this, that most successful entrepreneurs are those who have insider knowledge. They have some fundamental insight into what's broken and how to fix it. They have a vision for the future, uh, and it's inspired vision usually, and they have the skills to bring that future into the present. And typically, putting all those ingredients together happens once you've spent some time in industry. But that isn't always the case. And in the case of drop diagnostics, it's a really great example of what happens when you have a group of ambitious young undergraduates who have thrown themselves in the technology deep end. They've made a breakthrough, and they've made a decision to move that breakthrough from the bench to the bedside as quickly as possible. So please welcome Drop Diagnostics. Thank you, Elliot. Good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. My name is Peter Backus, and I'm CEO and co-founder of Drop Diagnostics, where we have created a platform for immediate disease detection using only one drop of blood. Now, most disease detection starts with something like this. We've all been through it before. It's painful, complex, and takes a couple of days, if not weeks, to get your results back. This is often too slow for doctors to intervene effectively, especially in infectious diseases where the clock is ticking. We're a team of Penn bioengineers that have specialized in microfluidic diagnostics for the past two years, focused explicitly on this problem. We've dealt with a range of devices and advanced materials, but the one that really got us excited was carbon nanotubes. This is a new wonder material that's going to revolutionize medicine. It's composed completely of carbon in an incredibly thin tube only one atom thick. Early work has proven that carbon nanotubes instantly change their electrical properties as soon as a biological component binds to their surface. Unfortunately, there's been no practical implementation to move this technology from the laboratory to the bedside. So our innovation is attaching carbon nanotubes to paper. Paper is the perfect mechanism for distributing any fluid across the entire sensor, sensor region. It's simple, self-filtering, self self-contained, doesn't require any outside power or pump. So combined with a custom carbon nanotube tailored for specific disease, we had in our hands the first implementation for detection of almost any disease. Now, simply by changing the attached biological component, we can detect almost any antibody or antigen DNA, RNA fragment, and even small molecules. This is something that has never before been possible on one single diagnostic platform. This is when we decided to move out of academia and to start drop diagnostics. Now with this huge potential, but limited resources, focus was key. So when we started DreamIt about 15 weeks ago, our goal was to evaluate the dozens of tests we could perform to uh, identify the most valuable targets. So in the first couple of weeks, we spoke with dozens of clinicians at Penn and other leading healthcare facilities across the country. They helped us narrow the field, evaluate all these targets, and this is how we started with the flu. So the flu is incredibly common. While most strains are not nearly as virulent as the Spanish flu, avian flu, or swine flu, the virus still has substantial impact on public health and productivity, costing the US alone $20 billion every year. Now, the good news is we have therapies for treating the flu, but the bad news is we often diagnose it too late for these therapies to be effective. So the key here is early diagnosis. We have two solutions available. The standard laboratory testing, whose results are extremely accurate but often arrive too late, or the rapid tests, whose results are unreliable and often inconclusive. But we can be both, fast and accurate. We combine a carbon nanotube sensor targeted for the flu into a test strip, allowing us to get these results using only one drop of blood. Now, similar to a glucose monitor, these test strips will interface with a reading device, which we're building into a smartphone, allowing us to not only display the results, but communicate them wirelessly, whether it's to your physician, electronic health record, and even public health databases like the CDC. So we're currently working with a benchtop model with scaled up electronics. And our pr preliminary data has confirmed that we can detect different uh, concentrations of the target biomarker in a fluid sample. So over the next 12 months, our plan is to scale down the device to the form factor of a smartphone, finish the software needed to operate the device, and then prepare everything for manufacture. But before we can get to market, we still have regulatory milestones to move through. 
At DREAMIT, we had the opportunity to discuss this with a handful of regulatory experts who helped us develop our regulatory plan. We also identified another benefit of targeting the flu is that there's a very clear 510k pathway to market. We're also developing key relationships with the hospitals that will be performing our third-party unbiased testing of our device before we can move into the market. We've also identified a handful of other tests that would benefit from our platform structure. And while we're starting with the flu, we plan on developing some of these into the future. But in addition, we're also in discussion with outside companies who would like to license our core technology and use our platform to bring their own novel tests to market. So we believe we have the makings of a revolutionary platform, one that allows us to generate revenues before we bring our first test to market. But I want to bring you back to the first slide. Imagine a world where this is no longer needed, where all you need is one drop of blood, and wherever you are, you will know what's wrong with you. This is the future that we are creating. And it's going to take time, hard work, and capital. But if you believe, as we do, that there's a better way to move diagnostics into the modern age, I hope you'll take some time and come speak with us after the presentations. Thank you.